if i get a penny for every time someone has asked me Deo, do you still wish you moved from the uk to australia probably be the richest person ever in this world but hey guys welcome back again to my channel my name is Deo goodness and yeah i'm a registered nurse i'm currently practicing in australia i'm sorry if my voice is quite worst is because i have been sick yeah <laughs> I have been sick okay so i'm so sorry if i still feel down i am still on medications but hopefully i feel much better soon because i'm going on vacation as you can see my hair is done <laughs> anyways i'll be in thailand soon so yes i have stayed in australia for six months and I just thought I'll give you a little bit of update because a lot of people have been waiting for me to still give updates. People are still doubting how life is in Australia. People are still, especially nurses in the UK. And I get it. Look, I understand. Look, it, it's, it was really hard for me to move as well. I wouldn't lie. I mean, if you've been on this channel, you know there was a time I had to come up here and I looked the same way, only that I wasn't sick then. <laughs> Telling you people on how much I am in a daily mind. If I should leave or I should stay back in the UK. And just ranting about my life in general anyway but because i asked the question and i asked you all to ask me questions about my life here in australia and i received lots of messages and listen this video is going to be hard to hard talk i wanted to answer those questions here in this video but i realized i'm just going to be answering what you're asking me but i want to talk first so i'm going to make this video too I'm going to make this live update into two sessions. One of them is me just speaking to you on how I actually feel and nothing but the truth. And the next one will be answering your questions. So make sure you subscribe if you're yet to so that you can get the second one as well. And of course, turn on your notification. So how has life been in Australia? Before I came to Australia, I made so much research, okay? I made research about how life is here in Australia. I shared them here on my YouTube. I called friends that are here and we spoke and it was like the dream so yeah i did make a lot of research and i'm saying in all honesty because most people will be like hello dio please be honest do you still love australia or do you still wish you moved to australia and <laughs> when i see that kind of question i'm like do you think if i ever had moved to australia from the uk and within a few months or let me even not say months a few days australia is like not even what i ever expected do you think i wouldn't move back to the uk in a second i will definitely move back honestly as much as it feels hard for people to be honest it doesn't take anything from me why one time is still on my side i'm not uh, yeah that's the truth time is still on my side i don't have kids i don't have any child i'm taking off from school making them to start all over again and to be honest my husband is also a person that is very understanding adventure lover like me we love traveling we travel a lot together so he wouldn't even feel anything but he would be the one to be like come let's go back okay so i have that support and i have that ability to go back my license is still active even up to now i'm still renewing it there is nothing stopping me the only thing i have to do is just to apply i mean i don't even have to apply for a job i've worked in the uk for four years i just need to call my employer <laughs> or call any employer i have loads of employers i'm not in nigeria where there is a red list so i can get actively recruited from the uk from australia so i have a, the i have uk experience for four years so there is nothing making me not to be able to get a job to go back you know it's just to get a job apply for a visa and i'm back to the uk like i never left even and for the fact that okay i didn't get my ilr that doesn't mean that i'm going to start off from scratch no first of all within that i think i have six months to live out of the uk and i will still be eligible to apply for my ilr so yeah i still had that grace within the six months and i think by now it's gone but even if i said now if i still regret it i will move back and that is because when you move back i'm not like starting from scratch yes my five years must have gone and i'm going to be starting all over again but i have the uk experience i can still do my agency shifts i can still work with my employer i was fine i wasn't struggling in the uk so yeah that is not a scare for me so when someone says, please be sincere do you still wish you left the uk babies in all honesty 
the only regret i had was not leaving sooner i'm being honest i'm not saying this to make you come over look it doesn't move me even if you come over or you don't come over i don't have anything to gain but i wouldn't come here to tell you what it is not i wouldn't lie to you just to make you feel better i wouldn't come to tell you that oh australia is not what it is blah blah blah, blah just to make you feel oh it's true the grass is not always greener on the other side babes the grass is actually greener here i am telling you <laughs> the grass is greener here and i am not saying this to make you feel like i am in a better place but i am just telling you the truth i cannot come here to lie to you just like make you feel better or make myself feel better i wouldn't i would just be deceiving myself if i come here to lie to you everything i made my research about australia when i came here it was same and even better and i'm not exaggerating it okay so yes if you are in the position where you're asking me if i regret coming to australia i will tell you for a fact i don't the only thing i regret was not coming sooner but yeah that was the question i had most of the time if i had regretted my decision coming off that to australia and the answer is absolutely no the only thing i regret was not coming anytime sooner and i would not be able to give so much details because i feel like some of them are too personal too personal to me and like i don't want it to seem like boastfulness but my six months here what i've been able to do <laughs> it's okay <laughs> yeah i am uh, i'm not gonna be too specific but i'll leave you to it okay i would leave you to it to decide if you would want to move like i said moving to a new country it should be a personal decision i what your favorite influencer is doing or your favorite youtuber or favorite whoever is doing because i've made a video about that as well so yeah search yourself and think if you really want to move to australia but if you ask me i'm telling you my personal perspective my move from the uk to australia was 100 percent worth it even add one more percent because in every aspect of my life right now i've seen the growth i have definitely seen the growth and career wise i have gone back to school <laughs> i'm currently doing my postgrad studies so yeah that's why you see that i'm not really posting that much i am trying i had to get a video editor as well because of my tight schedule and even still i am struggling to push out videos so please bear with me with the slow content i don't know what i was thinking and i enrolled for full-time studies and i couldn't and worse off it is physical class so it's face to face okay i am more of a visual learner so i want to see my lecturer i want to interact with my uh, my course mates and yeah that's one thing that affected me during covid time when i was studying okay so i stopped and right now i am back to school and i am doing a face-to-face -face class i'll probably do a more detailed video on the course i'm doing and my career progression plan here in australia probably in another time where i feel more confident but i had to drop my courses as well i was studying full-time and i was not having it so i had to drop some courses and right now i'm only doing two units this semester so yeah okay, so that's it about the school and yeah the school is funded by the government so you see because i'm a pr holder i have that access to go to school and yeah like i said i will do a video in more details about my postgrad and how i got the scholarship okay but yeah that's one glimpse i just want to let you know that it is definitely better here because as much as i know i wouldn't be able to fund going back to school um because of how expensive it is here in australia without being a pr holder so yeah that's one benefit as well i've talked about loads of benefit about life in australia as a permanent resident so you might want to check those videos out as well and what other thing i want to talk about is just this happiness okay this feeling of being settled it is something money cannot buy the feeling of settlement is definitely here and i do feel it six months down the line if i was to do it again i would do it earlier that's what i want to say in all aspects i haven't had any regrets and i'm saying it as it is okay i don't know if it would change but i'm telling you what i feel right now and people say and i know a lot of people will be like oh you are still in your honeymoon phase you know that phase where you just recently moved to the country and you're only saying the good things but i still put it to you that it is what it is right now so i'll wait for that bad times to start happening till i tell people what it is but yeah life here has been good and i will say if you want to move over whether you're a nurse whether you are a doctor 
please move <laughs> please do it will be daunting okay it will be scary it will be hard the first few few but you just planning it as well it will take a lot but nothing will compare to you feeling a little bit settled in a different country and that is what australia gave me that settlement okay and as much as it will never ever feel like nigeria currently australia is home for me now the, the finally having to settle here permanently and like the weather is similar to nigeria weather which is what i'm used to and even more it is currently autumn this is april first of april i'm making this video first of april and there is said autumn starts by march and so far the weather is only just a bit cold in the morning and that's it and even in the morning it's not like freezing it's just like you know aircon vibe it gives you like aircon vibe in the morning and it gets very hot in the afternoon again like now it's very very hot i have my aircon turned on because of how hot it is the only thing i just don't like is going to work very early because i leave the house around six o'clock and to be honest during that time it's a bit dark and by the time i get to work around seven it's still a bit dark so i don't like that that's one thing i didn't like when i was in the uk as well how dark it gets but it is what it is during autumn but it doesn't last that long anyways um as you already know i still don't drive here in australia which is something that i have missed i have missed driving because i was driving in the uk i have driven in the uk for like two years plus almost three years in the uk and coming over to australia i don't have a car yet i miss driving and that is because it's not like i cannot go into the garage and get a car no don't get me wrong it's something you can easily do everybody knows that already you just have to take it on credit or if you if you have the money buy it offhand when i came to sydney the transport system was not that bad so and because i was coming here to start all over again i decided not to just hop on and just go get a car and somehow i just feel like i miss driving a lot because you already know i love adventure and when you have a car you are more mobile you can easily just go anywhere the transport system here is great don't get me wrong it doesn't give you that flexibility as when you have a car okay so while i've been able to survive six months without a car i am now missing driving a lot because i don't even know if i can drive again because it's been six whole months of not driving but i have this philosophy of i will never get a car on credit so that's one thing that's made me not to get a car and not because i still cannot just afford anything to just drive around but it's because <laughs> i have a particular car that i want to get <laughs> i know this is this is my own personal personal beef anyway i have a particular car that i want to get and while i was in the uk i wanted to get that car and i I don't know if people watch my vlog there's a video i made in the uk i'm going to put it on the screen where i talked about new car blah blah, blah. there's a toyota chr that i wanted to get and that's the car i want to get and i don't want to get some credit and i've been saving up for it and probably i'll get it properly very soon because i want to start driving I already have my australia driving license so that won't be a problem driving but yeah it just makes going to work i have to go to work much earlier because the bus takes more time but driving takes shorter time we all know that right that's a common concept so yeah that's another thing that makes me a little bit ah and somebody asked me a question saying is there anything you miss about the uk in like my nursing in the uk and nursing here and yes there's something i actually miss about the uk and it's more of a personal thing personal because I've lived in the UK for four years. I had worked with my my colleagues there for a longer time than I have had worked with the people I'm working with right now. And I just feel that the community, the love, closeness I had with my friends back in the UK has just set a high pace. And it's just so hard for me to blend into this particular workplace I am. Don't get me wrong. My workplace here, they are amazing. Okay. But you know, there's something about comparison you it's the thief of joy <laughs> whenever i just like remember especially my best friend you know my best friend we work together and i just miss that chit chat we always have at work that community that love 
it's something that would come here also in australia but it's not just there yet i don't know if you understand what i mean i mean you cannot just judge somewhere of six months to somewhere you've been almost three years and also i just miss that coming back from work and we have to come out together you know have that chat and like talk about a lot of things you know even outside of work we meet you know that closeness with my work colleagues where it's just something that i am still trying to get here and that's not to say the people here are not nice they are very nice wonderful people very understanding very diverse as well we have lots of people from different parts of the world okay and they are so amazing but you know like i said i just miss people i worked with back in the uk because we've had a longer bond okay let me put it like that but you know if it was a case where i was coming from a place in the uk that was absolutely not it and i came here it would not be the same way but when you come from somewhere that you had that bond people know that when i made my video about leaving i felt really bad because of how much i love my teammates so it's just how i feel okay but work has been okay i would start being on call very soon because i work in an aesthetics and this here they are expected to be on call as well i haven't started being on call because most of the placements here i had to like learn some new things because we do pediatrics here we do ect here we do the health cases here and some other surgeries that i am not used to in the uk and you already know i moved to anesthetics just one year before coming over to australia so i was still fairly new in the specialty so i just needed a little bit more time but right now it's six months in and i feel more confident to start being on call because when you're on call you literally might be the only anesthetic nurse in the building so you need someone very experienced so that's something i will start very soon hopefully next one month or two months but yeah that's a bit of update and also update about my work as well here in australia most of the times if you work in anesthetics they prefer you to have recovery experience as well because they want that skill mix so if you do on call you are the anesthetic nurse and you still have to recover the patient after they finish the surgery so i haven't started yet but i would do it before i start being on call but that's just a bit of update i'm gonna be learning new skill because i don't have recovery experience from the uk because in the uk my hospital to be more precise if you're anesthetics you're anesthetics you don't have any business being a recovery nurse okay except you just want to move specialty like if you've been in recovery for one year then you move to anesthetic for one year then you definitely have those two skills but it's not it's not compulsory but here i have found that that it is almost compulsory okay you need to have both of them it's not still compulsory we still have nurses that work in recovery that are not anesthetic strain but if you are in anesthetics in particular you must have the recovery skill because if you are on call most of the times you have to do both okay but yeah that is it about my work career and all that and another question that i got a lot was more of the money i feel like i've answered this question a lot and i keep answering this question makes it look somehow to me personally i find it a bit repetitive but i have said this before that it's definitely more here so i wouldn't be going into detail i will do a video i know i've said i will do a video i'll do a video but this time i promise you i'll do a video comparing the two so yeah keep your eye out for that but i've talked a lot and you can already tell that i am feeling a bit sick <laughs> and that's because i've been sick almost one week now i've been sick but not sick enough to go to the hospital yet because you know what is it about nurses <laughs> we'll almost be dying before we go to the hospital <laughs> anyways i'm just kidding but yeah yeah that's a bit of six month updates i'll see you guys in my next one i'm so sorry my eyes are so red but like i said i'm sick so please don't ask me why my eyes are red because i've been sick so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this feels a bit more of talking to my friend because i didn't want that normal youtube lights there's no youtube lights here i'm just using natural light because i wanted it to be more of me talking to my friends and not just the normal hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today's video will talk a bit and just make it feel like i'm talking to my friends so i hope this video gives you that vibe of talking to your friend that has just moved out of the country and she's just giving you a little bit of updates 
but i hope i feel better soon so i can film more videos for you people and i um yeah i will see you guys a bit later okay so thank you for watching let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer any question but like i said those questions you asked me those specific questions i'm gonna do a separate video and i'm gonna post it very soon okay so don't worry okay we'll see you guys later bye